Hello, Captains, and welcome back to the channel. It's Chronic Clouds here, yet again with more content for World of Warships Legends. In this video, we're going to be terrorizing the enemy team in the new Tier 7 Premium Japanese Campaign Cruiser, the Sazoya. We absolutely end up shredding the enemy team and are joined by some friends of the stream who are celebrating the mega stream for Blaymeister's 400 Twitch followers. We have Apex, Arctic, Yaboy, Receptive, Calathy, and Blaymeister himself. I hope you guys do enjoy this replay and uh, yeah, let's get into it. Alright, to start things off guys, we are on the map. Two brothers. And we have Cal, Arctic, Apex, and your boy on our team. And as you see, we spawn on the top side of this flank. And roll number one, <laughs> at least in my book, when you're playing two brothers, do not push out instantly. Do not go all the way straight out there to the open water and start trying to set people on fire. If you're in a ship like I'm in with very good... Uh, shell arcs you're gonna want to be using these islands and that big island right there in the middle as cover to try to burn people down that want to push outside and overextend themselves and that's pretty much what we do if you see this island right here to our right we literally just push into the island circle back around it push into the island circle back around it and you'll see what I mean here in a second and everybody, as you see, is slowly trying to creep up and get sights on someone so they can shoot. And we're spotted as well, so we're just going to kind of keep trying to push up and get closer to that big island. Because right now, they could have actually shot at me, but they didn't. Which is very good <laughs> in, my, in my books. Um, the Sezoya is a freaking awesome shit. People keep asking me if, if I think that it's worth it for the doubloons or the uh, admiralty backing, whatever you want to call it. Um, I definitely do. I really like this ship. I will go out on a limb and say it's probably not the best AA cruiser. But other than that, it plays very freaking well. It's a better version of the Megami, in my opinion. The turrets turn way faster. You have a faster reload. You got the same hole and the same speed and rudder shift and range <laughs> as the Megami. You just have better guns in my opinion. They're not as big caliber. These are 155s I believe to the 203s on the Megami. So a little bit smaller caliber but not too much. We see Receptive out there in his Charles Martel and we're gonna try to help burn him it's gonna be kinda hard though he's being very maneuverable out there and if you see we don't really even have to move our ship to be able to shoot at people at the moment we're going to eventually just we don't have to right now <laughs> Um. You see your boy up there pushing in his Massachusetts. And if I'm not mistaken, this is when I believe... Or this is when I believe that I uh, decide, you know what, let me push up. Let me go up there and help him. I think this is it. It looks like we're just sitting here for a second, but... We're trying to get that Roman set on fire. We haven't done any damage yet. We've got nine shell hits. So... Not the best start in the world. And we're spotted, so what we need to do is get closer to that bigger island. And I believe that's what we start doing now, yeah. Finally get our first fire and our first amount of damage off on that Roma. And it looks like he's just going to bird for a little bit. He's sitting perfectly behind the island, just enough to where we can't hit him, which is smart. And here we go to go help your boy in his Massachusetts. He's trying to use that island for cover right there. But sometimes it can be hard to stay hidden. Even being behind that little small piece of island right there. But he's doing a good job. He's dodging the shells. or 
you know, the enemy's missing, so that's preferable. <laughs> and here we go. This is the first rotation around this island. And watch what we're going to do here. We're going to come out of, from behind the island. And we're literally just going to keep circling. <laughs> We have been burning that Roma pretty good. We've taken 14k of his health with one single fire. So that's pretty good. Not bad. And we set another fire on him. <laughs> you know that one's getting damage conned though. So he puts it out. And he's not in the best position to be honest with you. <laughs> we now have the linen and the Roma pushing. So here's whenever we're like, you know what? Let's go ahead and start kiting back into the island. Because the Roma will wreck us. And we start cutting in the other way. And look who it is. Mr. Blaymeister himself in the Iowa. And look at this. He's already at half health. But that doesn't mean anything, guys. You'll see what I mean at the end of the game. We do end up getting a fire on him. And we also have a fire burning on the Roma. So the damage is just stacking right now. It's piling on up. Um, and we're going to try to set Blay on fire again. And look at that. We get him on fire one more time. Shoot our back guns at him. Let's see what we can get out of that. And we get a solid little 2k. But we're going to go ahead. Switch targets back to somebody else. Like the Roma. We're going to try to get them out of there. Because Blaze our buddy. We're not going to sit here and continuously spam him. If it had been anybody else, he would have been... I would have spammed the shit out of him. <laughs> but it's Blaze, and I know how it feels to be burned down. And I know he wouldn't mind, or, you know, he probably would understand. But, yeah, I'm not going to do that to him. So we're going to start focusing on the Romas again. We get our third fire on the Roma. And we're just going to keep trying to pump out this damage. And here we go, back into the island to make another rotation around it. And honestly, guys, this game was kind of sweaty. No one wanted to push out on their side. No one wanted to push out on our side. It was kind of like <laughs> a freaking a draw at the point in time. So what I did is that's whenever I started, decided, you know, to start kiting out into the open, trying to get some people to shoot at me. Maybe I can get them to overextend themselves trying to shoot at me. But it didn't work. But it was worth a try. And that's another reason why we're kind of doing this. Is we want someone to overextend. That's what we really, really want. Okay, the Roma is slightly angled away from the island. So that's why we wanted to get a look on it. And there goes Mr. Arctic and his Sezoya. Doing the same thing I'm doing. Sitting behind these islands and HE spamming like... A ton, like a ton. <laughs> I don't know how they hold this many shells on their ship. All right, guys, and if you check it out, we've got 117 shell hits so far with six fires and 73k damage already. So not bad. And the carrier actually tries to go for Arctic, and yeah, I didn't get him. <laughs> Back to the Roma, though. We're going to try to set him back on fire. And we're around the island. And guess what, guys? We're kiting again. And there's our sixth fire on the Roma. So, or actually, fifth. That's the fifth fire we've gotten on the Roma. That's right. And there's our Witherer. Awesome. Already got Witherer. Six minutes left in the game. Not bad. We get another fire. <laughs> We're just setting fires like crazy in this game, guys. That's what this ship is really good at doing. Playing range, shooting a bunch of shells, and setting a bunch of fires. That's this ship in a nutshell, pretty much. Alright, guys. Look at Blaze health. You see it's very low. And I gotta give him props. He is a freaking survivor. 
in his Iowa. The Lennon and Roma are over there hugging each other. Uh, giving him a strong Russian hug with vodka, I guess. He's gonna take that though. <laughs> And we're starting to kite back in, and there's our <laughs> 11th fire of the game. And we're just literally driving in circles the whole time, burning everybody. There's another fire on Blaymeister itself. And we're back to the Roma. That's just, this is just how I play whenever I'm playing in a... HE spamming cruiser. I'll literally keep just switching targets, switching targets, burning everybody. Let everybody get some of it, you know? <laughs> but gotta give props to that Roma. Still alive, even though we burned him for almost double his health. <laughs> but we're gonna continue. No need in stopping now. The Lin then decides to push up, and we're going to go ahead and accommodate him on that. Let's go ahead and see if we can set the fire on the Linen with his really, really strong deck armor. Let's see if we can get the penetration or not with the 155s. We do shoot a little bit short, so we don't get it. And imagine just being on a side with two Sezuyas that are just fucking wrecking. If our other side wouldn't have lost, I think we could probably would have had a better chance at this game. But nonetheless, let's watch the replay. Okay. Time to go back in the island and swing right back out. <laughs> I want to say this is the third or fourth rotation around the same island. Um, and it's been pretty effective for how the enemy team is playing it right now. Um, the Roma is deciding, you know what, screw it. I've burnt, been burnt to a crisp already. Let's go ahead and get in here. I want to try to kill something. So, we're back on the Roma. <laughs> and he is just doing well with his heals. He's healing whenever he needs to. He's not wasting them. And then we get two fires on him right away, guys. Two fires on him right away he shoots at us of course he does and we just kite away and his shells disperse all around us luckily we got the freaking carrier trying to bomb me but it's not working um there's another fire <laughs> as you see the torpedoes are coveted but they're just they're we're too fast and maneuverable. We knew they were coming, so. Not much you can do there. We do take a hefty salvo there from the. I want to say it was the linen. Could be wrong. But now, guys, we're in full kite mode. Check it out. We have a high caliber and a witherer already. 16 fires. Already 237 <laughs> shell hits. So, yeah, we're doing pretty good. Um, it's just me and Arctic left on this side, so it's going to be hard to take all these ships held down in the amount of time that we do have left. Um, it was unfortunate that our team kind of died and everything, but overall this was a very fun match and I was having a blast. We were in stream watching, uh, watching Blade play. And uh, yeah, we're doing sync jobs, and it's a pretty pretty fun night, if I do say so myself. The next day, not as much, <laughs> but this night was very fun. Okay, we've got about a minute and a half left. The Roma's still alive. The Linen's still alive. We have literally taken their health two or three times over again. And if you look over there, guess who's still alive? Mr. Blay is still alive. And there goes Arctic's wither and his arsonist <laughs> in his Sezoya. So we have definitely been trying to dispose of the enemy. It's just they've played it well. They played it well. 
Gotta give him mad props for this. And at this point, I'm really annoyed with the Roma, actually. I'm like, let's get rid of this guy. He's been up alive the whole freaking game, dude. Literally the whole freaking game. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, I mean, this is pretty much the game in a nutshell. We end the game with 19 fires, 176,000 damage, 220 plus shell hits, a high cow, and a witherer. So, yeah, guys, let's see the results of this one. All right. Not bad, we made almost 400,000 silver. We came top, Arctic came second, and guess who came first on the enemy team? Mr. Blaymeister himself. And uh, yeah, fun battle. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Um, if you did, please do consider subscribing to the channel to help me out. Um, I'll be leaving a link to Blaymeister's Twitch and YouTube in the description below. Um, but anyways guys, until the next video, we will see y'all later.